We are rejoicing today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are believing for the favor of the living God to come upon all of our people. We bless you. We love you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We have been talking about not believing the lies of the devil. Stop believing the lies of the devil. Jesus Christ himself told us in John 8.32... And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Praise the Lord. Our question today is simply this. If the truth... If the truth of Jesus will set you free, what will a lie do? Yes. If truth sets me free, then a lie will put me in bondage. You are stuck in life when you believe a lie. Yes. Yes. Twenty twenty one is a year to move forward with your life. What is your next step in life? What do you want to accomplish in life? What do you want to contribute to the world in this life? What is your plan for life? What will you do to move forward with your life in 2021? God wants to take you to new levels in Him. God's blessing, God's glory and power is here for you today. 2021 to move you forward in the name of Jesus. Yesterday we talked about stop believing the lie of unforgiveness. Stop believing the lie of anger. Stop believing the lie of chaos and confusion and dissension and division and offense with your spouse. All of these lies put you in bondage. Amen. And Amen. God wants to take you to new levels in your life. That's right. 
So we've been talking about stop believing lies, start speaking right. Today we want to talk about speaking right and standing your ground. The Bible says in Proverbs 18:21 that life and death are in the power of the tongue. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 6 2 that you are snared, you are trapped by the words that come out of your mouth. Wow. The reason why it's so important to speak right. To speak what God says speak, because when you speak, you come in agreement with a kingdom. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Wow. Your words will either agree with God. Or the devil. That's right. That's why the Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue. You do not have the power to create with your words, but you have the power to agree with God or the devil. Your words have the power to release God to move on your behalf or your words have the power to release darkness, the devil bondage on your behalf. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say is what you get. If my thinking is wrong, my believing is wrong. Amen. If I believe in is wrong, my speaking is wrong, and my life is wrong. Wow. Your life is what you think, is what you believe, is what you speak, and that's how you act. Wow. Amagaragawe, nebyor kugamba, nebyor kuteka teka, or yokuri, ahabwebiru gomkanwa kawu. Wrong believing leads to wrong living. Right believing leads to right living. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 30, verse 1 through 5, that whatever I say, I am bound by the words that I vow to the Lord. 
Ya gamba na ajira ata tebinga amba biona. Nemi teka teka. Biona luko merira bi achintu chimwengu. Omwezibu anje burgara hanga. When I speak, I bind my soul bound to the words that I say. Amen. The Bible says, when I say it, he shall not break his word. When I say it, if a man vow a vow, if a man vow a vow unto the Lord, I'm in verse 2, Numbers 32. Or swear an oath where he binds his soul with a bond. He shall not break his word. When I say it, it's done. It's out there. It's bound me. Once I say it, it's bound my soul. And he shall do all that he says that comes out of his mouth, is what the Bible says. If a father have a daughter, and he hears his daughter say something, and he allows it, then it will stand. But if a father hear his daughter in his house say something that he does not agree with, he has the power as the spiritual authority to break the bond of that word because he has authority over his daughter. Yes, indeed. We must take authority for the words that we speak because the words that we speak are binding our soul to God. Once I say it, I release it, it's out there, and I'm bound by what I say. Yeah. If you hear your son or your daughter say something that's not right as a parent, you have authority to break the power of those words in their life. I heard a story. <laughs> One time a mother brought her daughter to the store to get some groceries. The daughter was nine years old, just as cute as can be. Another woman saw the cute little nine-year-old daughter and said, Oh, she's so cute. But when she gets to be a teenager, she's going to break your mother's heart. The mother immediately broke the power of those words over her daughter because she has spiritual authority over her daughter. She's her mother. 
Nina kuya kuhirebe gambebio Yara jirogo moyo yangu Chotereza Ahamu kwa kawai no sorozi Ahamu anawe Thank you Jesus Today we're talking about Start to speak right Elizoba minye nangu Tugambebe gambo Ebiru kujirabiti Tandeka kugamba Je So we got to stop believing the lies of the devil that opens the door for demons in our life. Jesus. We got to start speaking what God says to speak that comes from the Bible, which is the truth of God that sets you free. We must agree with God. We've got to stop agreeing with the adversary, the devil. we got to start speaking right. We agree with God. We speak his word Hallelujah. in our life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the name right, of the Lord. That, and then we'll turn that was good. That was good. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In order to start to speak right, we need to know the word yes. of God. Yes. It says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, 21. <laughs> The rest of the scripture says, and those who love it will eat of it, meaning whatever we manifest through our words, that's what we're going to get. And we have to kind of live with that or fight with it or <laughs> it's, gonna, it's not going to go well. This is not a, a thing about choice. Um, in terms of what God is man, mandating, in, in terms of what God is requiring of us. We cannot choose to just say anything or be careless with our words, as I've been in the past, and then expect things to work well for us. You know, we hear people day in and out talk about, I'm sick of this, I'm tired of that, I, I don't have this, I'm broke, I'm all of these negative word curses that one is opening up to one's own life. And Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Why not, why not we rehearse this over our lives? Be strong and of good courage and fear not. You know, get personal with the scripture. I will not be afraid for the Lord, my God, is the one who goes with me. Amen. I make it personal. I said he will not fail Pat Chambers, nor will he forsake me. When we speak the words of the Lord, the Bible words, the scripture, uh, we need to know these words have formed a contract and a covenant with the Lord. They're not just empty words, they have life. 
Nibigambe vyo nevi ya mazima. Kandi vigi na mani. Vigi nenda gano hivyo kora. Tuwa vigi terezamo tukavigi endiramu. John 14 and 1. Do not let your heart be troubled. We turn it around and say, I will not let my heart be troubled. And Jesus said, you have put your trust in God, put your trust in me also. Prophesy these words, declare these words over yourself and myself. We, we need to do this. Psalm 34 and 4, I sought the Lord and he heard me. I turn this around and I speak God's word. Pat, you are seeking the Lord. I'm seeking the Lord and he is hearing me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I see these words with the life. I see them backed up by the kingdom of God, by the glory of God, by the angels of God. Uh, they're backed up by Jesus. Hallelujah. They're not just words. The rest of it says, you know, I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Yes, this is true. That's what the Lord has done for me. With the words also, we, gonna, we stop speaking, we stop with the lies of the enemy, and then we start speaking the words of God. We come in agreement with God's words. The Lord has bound himself to his word. He says, um, I, will, I will not hold any good thing from my children. We are his children. Yes, we have to, to, to put all of these parts together with our faith, our faith, amen? The, the Proverbs 29 and 25 says, fear of people bring a snare. But whosoever put his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Yes, every, every night before I go to bed, I declare over myself, the Lord has promised me that I'm going to rest in peace and safety. Hallelujah. And that's, yes, hallelujah. And that's my responsibility. My responsibility. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. We have to embrace these words, life-giving words. And breathe life over ourselves. Hallelujah. We thank you. The new wineskin, the new wineskin. Hallelujah. We have to get rid of the old method of doing things, huh? <laughs> Hallelujah, yeah. <laughs> glory, glory. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Agree. I didn't know this before. I was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. All of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had to come out of uh, dumbness, stupidity, <laughs> ignorance, darkness, and began to agree with what God said about who I was. And it continues. I'm always learning. Hallelujah. 
Yes. Yes. And all of us, all of us is the family of God. We decide to agree with what our, who our Father says we are and what the promises are towards us. Amen? Hallelujah. And all that has been said, we, sh we should be able to stand. Stand. Therefore, having our lungs good with the truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. And then we got to understand that we have power just like to be able to fight this enemy, which is the devil. Sometimes we, sometimes we look at people, men, women, children, we, we think that they are the enemy. They are not the enemy. It's the enemy who working inside of them. Yeah. That's why we, oh, yes. he, he has given us the power. First John, John 1 and 12 says, as many as they have received him to them, he gave power to That's become right. the sons of God. Amen. Even oh, to them that believe. Way. And then it says, perfect love casts out fear. He that fear is not made perfect in love. We need that perfect love. Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of ungodliness. No stand in the way of sinners. Yes. No set in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Yeah. And in his and in the law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither. But whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. The ungodly is not so. The ungodly. But are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand. Are you worried? In judgment. Therefore, therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Got one more, Pastor. <laughs> it's hard to read scripture in the entire thing. Yeah. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Okay. okay, so now let's think about what we're talking about today. We're talking about a man or a woman 
speaking right and not believing lies. Nitugamba msese no mukazi. Abaragamba mazima ninga sabaragamba je batarigambira mukuremwa. The righteous man in the Lord speaks right. But the ungodly man speaks wrong and judgment comes upon him. I love the scripture in Matthew chapter 16 when Jesus asked his disciples, Who do men say that I am? Jesus' disciples said that, well, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're um, Elijah. But then Jesus said, but who do you say I am? <laughs> Today, it's all about your heart being connected to Jesus. You've got to know who Jesus is. Right, right, right. right. You can't live on your mama's Jesus or your daddy's Jesus. That's right. You got to know Jesus for yourself. You have to personally be connected with Jesus. Your heart and his heart have to be connected. You got to know him. So, oh hothead, oh loud mouth, Peter said, you are the son of the living God. Jesus then turned to Peter and said, Blessed are you, Peter, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. That's right. That's right. But you have heard from the Father in heaven and you have spoken what is right. And upon this truth, upon this rock, I will build my church, says Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peter, because you have heard the Father's voice, and because you have spoken the Father's voice, I will build my church upon the truth. Yes. <laughs> And Peter, the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church. Hallelujah. So Peter, the devil can't touch that. The devil can't stop. The truth of God. <laughs> and I will give you the keys yeah. of the kingdom. Yeah. So 
Somebody reach in their pocket and look for some keys. <laughs> Shake the authority. Shake the authority. You got the authority, the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus said, because you have heard God the Father's voice and have spoken his voice and you have agreed with God the Father and spoke it, you now have the keys to the kingdom. Yes, God. Mm. Your voice, your speech will agree with either God or the devil, and you will release that kingdom in your life. Wow. Who do men say that I am? Jesus says. <laughs> Who do you say Jesus is? Come on. You want to know how? If yes. you say he was just a good man, he was just a good prophet, you miss the voice of God. Right. But, if, but if you say Jesus is the son of the living God, Jesus is God, he is my Lord and my Savior, you have the keys to the kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, Whatever you bind on earth, it will be honored yes. in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say on earth will be honored in heaven. Just say the word, Son of God. Just speak the word of God and it will release heaven. All you have to do is say who Jesus Christ is today and the power of the living God will manifest in your life. Shout somebody! Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Say with me today, Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and my Savior. I believe in you. Hallelujah. I believe God sent Jesus to die on the cross for me. I believe Jesus shed his blood to pay my sin debt. I believe today I'm a son of God. Hallelujah. I believe Jesus is sending the Holy Ghost to live in me right now and I'm the temple of the living God. Today I decree and declare that you are saved because you have agreed with God and the keys of the kingdom are in your life. 
Say, I renounce every demon, every devil, every work of darkness. I renounce you. Jesus is Lord of my life. Say, I want Jesus Christ and Him only in my life. All of you that have prayed with me today, I decree and declare that you are saved. You are born again right now. Amen. Now get the Bible and start reading the truth. Keep putting the truth in you to release heaven in your life. Agree with God. You got to stand your ground. Stand. Stand in the name of Jesus. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Put on the armor of God so that the devil can't trick you no longer. The power of God through the name of Jesus is now in your life and we rejoice with you for giving your heart to Jesus right now. We love you and honor you and are so grateful for all of you that have given your life to Jesus. Now heaven is working in your behalf. Favor. If we could take some calls, if we could get that word out to our callers and, and take some prayer requests or some comments, we would love to have those calls now. And then you are a DD or air the line. You must have some sons or so at an amount of Nanita. I never went without you. At an amana, not in Anita, and then Zoom Sansu Nana Menda, Zoom Sansu, and Nina and Sansu. Nak Semer was several of Pretoa. Amina, 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 <laughs> ah, this gentleman is called uh, Musinguzi in his local language, in his local name, and uh, he felt the power of the Lord throughout the the broadcast, and he has been uh, going under uh, the life of fear, but today is feeling victorious. He is <laughs> declaring <laughs> victory, victory <laughs> in. Uh, in a, in a, God has lifted him to another level of spiritual realm and is yes. asking to pray for him so that he can continue to live a victorious life. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Yes, that's right. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Omlala, hello. 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 JT, good to have you today. Also, Austin, great to have you. I have some materials from Sanzuna and Amwenda, from Sanzana Nina Sanzu, and then it is a drum Sanzuzro, a Tadonamana, a drum Sanzuzro, a Tero, a Tadonamana, Chenanitano, Chenanamwenda. To Gamina Nichiranga, a Kuraga Tiamagao. Jesus. Jesus. Zrom Sanzu Munan Mwenda, Zrom Sanzu, Anamina Nsanzu, Mwaba Mpieni, and then Aba Ea. Hey, Doreen, to Xavier Tuta.
Doreen wants to give his life to Jesus because whatever he's done has not been really going on well and he's asking that today he wants she wants to surrender her life to Jesus so that she can live also a victorious life. Yes. We're rejoicing. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Come as Steve. Ego. Yes. 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 Praying for you, Austin. God's going to increase. No, I quit over. Uh -huh. Karen is so excited about what the Lord has done in her life. He say, she said that she's been negative. According to what she went through, it caused uh, low esteem, but she has realized that uh, she needs to use her uh, uh, tongue positively, yes. according to the scriptures, so that she can break and live a victorious life. And now she feels that today has marked the beginning of her victorious life. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hello. Get the Bible. The Bible's the key. The Hello. Word of God. Truth. Huh? Yes. Hey. He said you got to know the truth. No way. No, you end up with Okay, got come here with Ambeji. Anat Kunda from uh, Rubindi wants to give her life to Jesus so that she can also understand who Jesus is and uh, that she can also begin to live in a victorious life. Hallelujah. So let's lead. Come on. Yes. Uh, just repeat. Yeah. Feet after me, sister. Uh, yes. Heavenly Father, I give my life to your son, Jesus. I repent for the sins I've committed. I thank you that the blood shed was for those sins. I receive Jesus as my Lord, my Savior, and King. I welcome the Holy Spirit to come into my life. <laughs> to lead me and guide me. And to show me more and more of who Jesus is. And by this confession, sister, you are saved. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to your Amen. name. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Ego. Ebgambovia, we will be there. Ebgetchambo, what's with the Chambabur running our Shoreti? You want or Gomcho to Tata? Aha, you got to call this a Jordan while we all won't come with Jack Singura. I mean, now, so as a quick Tanaka quick could call this a Jack Quaker and Jerahistry. Yeah, Mina. Uh, this is called Musinguzi, and he has learned also to use his tongue right uh, because he's been born for all this long, and uh, he believes that now he has found the truth, and she's ready to walk in, uh, the Lord. On a, in a journey of freedom. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We rejoice with all of our listeners today, all of the people that are here in America, all the people that are in Africa and all over the world.
We release God's favor and blessing upon you. We love you and thank God for you. From all of us here in America, all the way to Africa and around the world. Have a great, great, great day.